if I click on engineer action pane now, you notice that the design is available for this specific product. And as a matter of fact, this is a very simple one. Whereas if I switch to a completely different product, let's say like cabinet standard, I can take a look at the designer for this one. And as a matter of fact, this could be just a simple raw material. The designer is going to be available for any product, either a product mass or product, even though if they don't have any bomb whatsoever. If I go to the speaker solution as an example, take a look at the designer for this, you notice that you indeed have a bill of material that consists of another bill of material, which is D004. So you could have as many as level as you want. And that's why we call it as unlimited levels. And of course, you have an integrated designer now, unlike the old ways of dealing with a bomb designer that there was a completely different module was combining literally certain codes, whereas graphical stuff. Now Microsoft has gone towards product configurator, which was introduced. And hopefully we have some talk about that Two, you have lots of information in regard to the costing and calculation of that. I'd like to benefit from this and take a look at, again, one of my example in regard to bill of material for D002. And I'd like to also show you while you're dealing with the demo data, there are some missing data in my opinion that needs to be configured properly for your demonstration. The first thing is that you have to make sure certain things are already set up. I'd like to benefit from this by switching to a different tab, going through the inventory management and looking at the inventory and warehouse management parameter. The reason they haven't removed the warehouse management from here, because you could still use the simple warehousing, whereas the new module that was added to Dynamics environment way back, we know it as advanced warehouse management, Either place you have a capability to set certain accounting scenarios, like for example, if I go to the inventory accounting, in order to generate the bomb, you have to have calculation group, which is very important. Without this, you won't be able to complete the production environment. And as a matter of fact, that could be done based on a particular cost pricing. As you notice, in my opinion, when you do have an example like this, you have a cost price model, could be based on item cost, purchase, trade agreement, inventory pricing, etc. The alternative cost price model shouldn't be the same, in my opinion. So I would use this to be item purchase price as an example, but you can keep it as it is, it wouldn't hurt. But if you don't necessarily find any item cost pricing, or you would like to use an alternative pricing to see which one is a higher, you can consider that as well. And as a matter of fact, for the sales price model, you have a capability to define exactly, is that going to be based on an item sales price or is that going to be based on a cost group? This is another important factor that I'm going to talk about as part of my training session. So what is the cost group anyways? You have a capability to take a look at this specific product of yours. And if I go to the details of it, right click on any of these fast tab and collapse all of them. There is a specific fast tab called manage costs. And as a matter of fact, if you take a look at it, this is associated with the cost group of M nine. Now, this is a finished good, let's say it's a cabinet, which could indeed be as part of another raw material. That's where you have a cost group. But if that was a complete finished good, you didn't necessarily have to set this up. But let's take a look at the view detail. And as you notice, many of the demo data don't have any profit percentage, which you are familiar with the cost group that you can combine so many different similar as far as the characteristics of the product to be associated with a certain cost. Like you don't define it, you don't you're not sure about it. Is it the direct material that you buy or you produce from another site perhaps, or maybe another company that you buy using intercompany? Direct manufacturing, which is relates to the labor indirect cost, like the delivery charges, etc., that is not as part of the cost of the production, but is relates to the calculation of the total cost for outsourcing, in other words. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to delete it. But let's say there are so many different cost groups available. And as a matter of fact, if you take a look at some of these, they don't have have anything set up. I'd like to make it a bit better since I'm not necessarily trying to go through any additional information in regard to using this final good to be as a member of other. I don't necessarily care about the M9, but I rather go to the designer. As you see, the formula area is disabled. And the reason for it is because as part of engineering, the production type is bomb. If I would have changed it to formula, then the bomb would have been disabled and the formula would have been enabled. I have different discussion in regard to showing you the formula, planning item, non, byproduct, co-product, and definition of every single one of them. You have lots of demonstration coming up. And then, of course, you could default the scrapping in regard to if this is going to be used as part of another bomb, how much of it would be scrapped based on a unit or based on a percentage of what you have. But let's take a look at the designer now. As you notice,